The hunt for a medallion has Pekin residents looking near and far because $1,500 are on the line, continuing a nearly 50-year tradition. And our morning reporter, Julie Rodriguez, is live checking in with this year's hunters, by the way, to see if they've cracked the code. Julie, what's the latest? Good morning, John and Rashawn. Well, many of those hunters may have their eyes on the prize. Most of them say that the memories that actually come out of it are worth more than any price tag. For some, it's a generational tradition. I started with my, my grandfather. He started me on this um, journey, and then it's just kind of taken over, and it's been a family event. It's so much fun. We have so many laughs. There's so many memories. I've done it since I was probably seven or eight. The search began Monday for Pekin residents eager to find the Mary Gold medallion. Some hoping to win for the first time. I would probably scream <laughs> and uh, I think it's just exciting to be able to get it because we've been trying to find it for the last five years. While others are looking to add to their collection. I want to be the third time winner. <laughs> I'm 73. I'm out there. I'm going for it. For mother-daughter duo, Laura and Tanya, the medallion is the only thing on their minds during hunting season. She's called me at 2 o'clock in the morning or knocked on my bedroom room and get up. <laughs> and teaming up is one way hunters are trying to win big. A friend and I always look and she's working right now and I work tonight so I'm hunting in the morning and she's gonna hunt in the evening. The man behind the madness, Gary Gillis, is Pekin's official clue meister. He explained what goes into the hints hunters receive. Well my approach is always I, I, I try to conceive of some type of conceptual framework uh, what I want to to build the clues around and, and that just comes to me when I uh, you know, select the, the site and I start working from there. How the Clue Meister's mind works is something we are all trying to figure out this week. But we at 25 News do have a clue for you if you didn't pick up on it in that story. This is just a copy of the medallion the Pekin Chamber of Commerce gave us. It's not the real one, okay? We didn't find it. It's just the copy. This is what the exact real one looks like, though. So if you're looking, you find a bag, and it looks exactly like this design, well, you're this year's winner. So good luck and happy hunting to all of you searching today.